The traditional religion and mythology of the San people is poorly attested due to their interactions with Christianity. Topic: <laughs> Mythical figures. Cagn, also known Kong or Kagan, is the supreme being of the San. He is the first being and the creator of the world. He is a trickster god who can shape shift, most often into the praying mantis but also takes the form of a bull eland, a louse, a snake, and a caterpillar. In some variants of the San creation story, Cagn receives so much opposition in the world that he moves his abode from the earth to the top of the sky. Cagn is said to have created the moon which holds special significance to the San people, the phase of the moon dictated when rainmaking rituals were to be performed. Koti is the wife of Cagn. She gave birth to the eland, and Cagn hid it near a secluded cliff to let it grow. One day Kan's sons, Kogas and Gewi, were out hunting. Not knowing their father's love for the eland, they killed it. Cagn was angry, and told Gewi to put the blood from the dead eland into a pot and churn it. Blood spattered from the pot onto the ground and turned into snakes. Cagn was displeased. Next, Gewi scattered the blood, and it turned into hartebeests. Again, Cagn was unhappy. He told Cody to clean the pot and add more blood from the eland, with fat from the heart. She churned it, and Cagn sprinkled the mixture on the ground. It turned into a large herd of eland. This was how Cagn gave meat to his people to hunt and eat. The San attribute the wildness of the eland to the fact that Can's sons killed it before it was ready to be hunted, spoiling it. The scholar David Lewis Williams recounts a variation of the eland myth involving the meerkats. Ken's daughter the porcupine married Kwaming A, a meerkat. They had a son called Ignuman a mongoose. Ignuman was close to his grandfather Cagn. Cagn used to take honey to feed his favorite, the eland. The people were curious as to what Cagn was doing with the honey, so they sent Ignuman to spy on him and find out. When Ignuman saw Cagn giving honey to the eland, he reported his discovery to his brothers, the meerkats. While Cagn was out gathering honey, the meerkats persuaded Ignuman to show them where the eland was. They called the eland out of its hiding place and killed it. Heitzi Ibub is usually as a culture hero, but his role is fluid. He is sometimes called a trickster. In other contexts, he appears as a patron of hunters and in some stories he even had a part in creating the world, impressing specific characteristics into different species. For example, he cursed the lion to walk on ground instead of nesting on a tree. The multiple roles of Heitzi Ibub have been called a reflection of the fluidity of San religious resources and rituals, which are usually ambiguous and lack in standardization. Heitzi Ibub was also a life-death rebirth figure, dying and resurrecting himself on numerous occasions. Resulting from this, his funeral cairns can be found in many locations in southern Africa, and it is customary to throw a stone onto them for good luck. In different accounts, Heitzi Ibub is born from either a girl or, more often, a cow, who got pregnant by eating a magical grass. Heitzi Ibub was a legendary hunter, sorcerer and warrior. Sugob is a sky deity associated with the phenomena of thunder and lightning. His name translates to bloodied knee, and he is said to dwell in a red heaven located somewhere in the east, as opposed to Ghanab's black heaven. Ghanab is a god of sickness and death who is locked in constant battle with Sugob. Utikso or Tikwa is the name used by missionaries as a translation for the Abrahamic god. The Ga Gorob is a beast who lived on the edge of a pit. It would trick people into throwing stones at it, but the stones would always bounce back from the creature's hide, and the thrower would fall into the pit. When the hero Heitzi Ibub met the beast, he refused to throw stones until Ga Gorob turned away from him, whereupon he cast a stone that knocked Ga Gorob into its own pit. In another version of the same story, Heitzi Ibub wrestled with the Ga Gorob and was thrown to the pit repeatedly, but could not be kept down. In the end, the Ga Gorob is again thrown to his own pit by Heitzi Ibub. Gorob is the spotted one, meaning leopard, cheetah, or leguan in co-languages, so the Ga Gorob probably has some connection with this formidable species. The element, Ga, remains to be explained. Possibly, it is a negative, not a leopard, not only on comparative morphological grounds, but also because its adversary Heitzi Ibub is connected symbolically to the leopard. 
The Igamuxa are a race of man-eating, dune-dwelling creature that are mostly human-looking, except that they have eyes on the instep of their feet. To see, they have to go down on hands and knees and lift one foot in the air. This is a problem when the creature chases prey, because it has to run blind. High Uri and Bai Blue are man-eating creatures which have only one leg and one arm, and travel by jumping, similar to the monopods in Pliny the Elder's Naturalis Historia. High Uri is the male variant, while Bai Blue is female. Shu is considered a benevolent and omnipotent supreme being. He is also the sky god to whom the souls of the dead go. He is said to summon the magicians to their profession, and gives them supernatural powers. The sand add that he provides the rain and is invoked in illness, before hunting and before traveling. Trance To enter the spirit world, trance has to be initiated by a shaman through the hunting of a tutelary spirit or power animal. The eland often serves as power animal. The fat of the eland is used symbolically in many rituals including initiations and rites of passage. Other animals such as giraffe, kudu and hartebeest can also serve this function. One of the most important rituals in the San religion is the Great Dance, or the Trance Dance. This dance typically takes a circular form, with women clapping and singing and men dancing rhythmically. Although there is no evidence that the Kalahari San use hallucinogens regularly, student shaman may use hallucinogens to go into trance for the first time. Psychologists have investigated hallucinations and altered states of consciousness in neuropsychology. They found that entoptic phenomena can occur through rhythmic dancing, music, sensory deprivation, hyperventilation, prolonged and intense concentration, and migraines. The psychological approach explains rock art through three trance phases. In the first phase of trance an altered state of consciousness would come about. People would experience geometric shapes commonly known as entoptic phenomena. These would include zigzags, chevrons, dots, flecks, grids, vortices and U-shapes. These shapes can be found especially in rock engravings of southern Africa. During the second phase of trance people try to make sense of the entoptic phenomena. They would elaborate the shape they had seen until they had created something that looked familiar to them. Shamans experiencing the second phase of trance would incorporate the natural world into their entoptic phenomena, visualizing honeycombs or other familiar shapes. In the third phase a radical transformation occurs in mental imagery. The most noticeable change is that the shaman becomes part of the experience. Subjects under laboratory conditions have found that they experience sliding down a rotating tunnel, entering caves or holes in the ground. People in the third phase begin to lose their grip on reality and hallucinate monsters and animals of strong emotional content. In this phase, therianthropes in rock painting can be explained as heightened sensory awareness that gives one the feeling that they have undergone a physical transformation. A sand trance dance featuring the San of Gonzi, Botswana appeared in BBC televisions around the world in 80 Faiths on 16 January 2009. Topic rock art pictographs can be found across southern Africa in places such as the cave sandstone of KwaZulu Natal, Free State, and Northeastern Cape, the granite and Waterberg sandstone of the northern Transvaal, the Table Mountain sandstone of the southern and western Cape. Images of conflict and war making are not uncommon. There are also often images of therianthropic entities which have both human and animal traits and are connected to the notion of trancing, but these represent only a fraction of all rock art representations. Most commonly portrayed are animals such as the eland, although grey reebok and hartebeest are also in rock art in places such as Cedarburg and Warm Bockewald. At Ukalamba, Drakensberg Park there are paintings thought to be some 3,000 years old which depict humans and animals, and are thought to have religious significance. Topic references Topic Sources Asante, Malefi K., Abu Shardau Aberi African Intellectual Heritage, A Book of Sources. Temple University Press pp. 35-37. ISBN 1-56639-403-1. Barnard, Allen Hunters and Herders of Southern Africa. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0-521-42865-3. Beesel, M1993. Women Like Meat, The Folklore and Foraging Ideology of the Kalahari Jew, Hone. Johannesburg, Witwatersrand University Press. Bleak, W.H.I. and Lloyd, L.C. 1911. Specimens of Bushman Folklore. London, George Allen.
Garlake, P. S. 1995. The Hunter's Vision. London, British Museum Press. Gunther, M. 1999. Tricksters and Trancers, Bushman Religion and Society. Indiana, Indiana University Press. Hastings, James 2003. Encyclopedia of Religion and Ethics Part 2. Kessinger Publishing. ISBN 0-7661-3670-1. Hines, H. J., 1975. Elements of, Co-Bushman Religious Beliefs. Anthropos 70-17-41. Hewitt, R. L. 1986. Narratives of the Southern San. Hamburg, Helmut Busk Verlag, Quellen zur Koisenforschung 2. Hallman, J. ed. 2007. Customs and Beliefs of the, XAM Bushman. Johannesburg, Witwatersrand University Press. Keeney, B. 1999. Profiles of Healing, Kalahari Bushman Healers. Philadelphia, Ringing Rocks Press. Lang, Andrew 2003. Myth, Ritual and Religion Part 1. Kessinger Publishing. ISBN 0-7661-5668-0. Lee, R. B. 1967. Trance Cure of the, Kung Bushman. Natural History 76 9, 31-37. Lee, R. B. 1968. The Sociology of, Kung Bushman Trance Performance. In Prince, R. Ed. Trance and Possession States. Montreal, R. M. Buck Memorial Society. Lewis Williams, David. 2000. Stories That Float From Afar, Ancestral Folklore of the San of Southern Africa. New Africa Books. ISBN 0-86486-462-0. Lewis Williams, David. 2004. San Spirituality Roots, Expressions and Social Consequences. Double Story. ISBN 1-919930-65-5 Marshall, L. 1999. NYAE NYAE, Kung. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Peabody Museum Monographs, No. 8, Harvard University. Muhammad, Pops, 2000. Bushman of the Kalahari, C.D. McNamee, Gregory, 1996. A Desert Bestiary. Big Earth Publishing. ISBN 1-55566-176-9. Melitinsky, Eliezer M., Guy Lanoue, Alexander Sedetsky, 2000. The Poetics of Myth. Routledge. ISBN 0-415-92898-2. Moore, Elizabeth, J. David Lewis Williams, D. G. Pierce, 2004. San Spirituality, Roots, Expression, and Social Consequences. Roman Altamira. ISBN 0-7591-0432-8. Solomon, Anne, Anne Lewis The Essential Guide to San Rock Art. New Africa Books. ISBN 0-86486-430-2. Stuckey, Lorena Laura Thematic Guide to World Mythology. Greenwood Publishing Group. ISBN 0-313-31505-1. Vinicombe, P. 1976. People of the Eland, Rock Paintings of the Drakensberg Bushmen as a Reflection of Their Life and Thought. Peter Maritzburg, University of Natal Press. Topic. External links Lewis Williams, J. D. Reality and Non-Reality in San Rock Art PDF. Raymond Dart Lectures, Lecture 25. Johannesburg, Witwatersrand University Press. ISBN 1-86814-024-5. ISSN 0079-9815. World Digital Library Presentation of 3008 Rock Painting S00568, Bethlehem, Dilibang District Municipality, Free State. University of Pretoria.